Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa. I'm here with this week's What I Sold on Etsy video. And the good news is I met my sales goal this week. I sold just over $200. I sold $203 worth of stuff. That was 13 different items I sold. So a lot of lower priced items this week, which is fine by me. Um, and I will go ahead and show you each of those items in just a bit. I forgot to do a screenshot of the shop stats screen, so I don't have that to show you. Um, I've been busy getting ready for, my parents are actually coming here this weekend, so um, there's a few things I got to do, and so I'm just getting this uh, this video in real quick. But I will show you each of the items that sold. Uh, keep in mind that price that you see is just the selling price of the item, so that doesn't include any fees that the buyer paid for shipping and doesn't include any fees that I paid to Etsy or to purchase the item. And so here are each of the items that sold this week. First item that sold was a vintage souvenir pennant from Nebraska, sold for $12.00. I actually sold two different pennants this week, both of this, what I would call same style, like the black felt with very busy design and the rickrack trim, so I don't know why, but, uh, you know, just happened to be the week for them, I guess. So these were five very small red rose trading cards. They used to come in red rose tea. Uh, sold for $3. No real theme here, just a you know, a few different random ones. And these were something that were in, like, a lot that I picked up at an auction. Um, and rather than throw them out, I decided to list them. They weren't really worth much, but hey, you know, made a little bit of money on them. And then I sold this vintage scarf for $8. This was um, put out by Avon, I guess, you know, sold in Avon catalog or whatever. And um, did have a designer name, S.M. Kent, I think was the designer. This was something I picked up a few weeks ago at a rummage sale. There were quite a few of these listed on Etsy when I listed mine. Um, I tried to price it. Um, you know, about the middle of the road as far as what they were going for. And uh, again, this is one of these items I'm kind of surprised it sold quickly because there were a lot of them on Etsy. And then I sold this cruel embroidery kit for $25. This was a, a larger sized kit um, to make a pretty uh, big sized picture with uh, wine and flowers and that sort of thing. Uh, where did this one come from? I think a thrift store, but I'm not sure. Sold this vintage lenticular picture in um, clear plastic frame for $30. Uh, you can't really tell because this is a still picture, but the way the lenticular pictures work as you move them, it, it makes it look like, you know, the picture's moving. So you can see the dog's head moving and the girl blowing the bubbles. And um, they're pretty cool. They're, they're a neat vintage item. You don't come across them too often, but I found this one at a thrift store not too long ago. They had a price kind of high. Um, but, uh, so they knew it had some value, but I still made some money on this and, uh, very happy with it. And then I sold this vintage apron for $12. Um, it looked like it might have been homemade. It had, um, like embroidered trim around the edges and kind of a sheer white, um, in the front there and on the ties. I think I got this at an auction. And then here's the other souvenir pennant. This one was from Texas, sold for $15, which is a little more than the other one. I'm not sure why I priced it different. Actually, this one might have been a little bit bigger. Um, it is from Texas, after all, so uh, yeah, who knows. Anyway, these were things I picked up at an auction lot. Okay, I'm now trying to talk over a garbage truck, which is in the alley, because they know I'm trying to make a video here. But anyway, I did sell this figurine for $14. He's a really cute little deer. Um, nice size figurine, not quite too small, but um, really nice vintage condition. And I think I picked this up at a rummage sale. I know I got it not too long ago. I sold this vintage aluminum ice cube tray for $12. And... Um, these these are vintage items. I've sold quite a few of these over the years. You don't come across them too often, but you know when you find them, pick them up because they do go for money, and they're usually, you know, you can usually pick them up pretty cheaply. I picked this one up at a thrift store, and actually I remember because the clerk it was it was a man ringing me up, and he's like, "What is this?" Because they have to put in like the the category. I'm like, "Oh, it's an ice cube tray," but uh, it's just kind of funny because they don't really make them like this anymore. You can just get the plastic ones nowadays. So I think people might even buy them just to use them because they prefer the, the way the metal trays work. I know uh, I know my grandparents, uh, both my grandma, one grandmother and my other grandparents always had metal ice cube trays. So, uh, you know, that was the thing back then. This is a vintage postcard from St. Petersburg. I think it was the Gandhi Bridge. 
sold for seven dollars. It was in unused conditions, a linen card with this, you know, tinted style illustration with the old cars. I love the ones that show the old cars in them, um, and really just a pretty scene there. But uh, that's something I think I think I picked it up in an auction lot, but I'm not positive that I actually might have picked up in an antique store. I don't remember. This is a metal uh, change machine, like you can put, you know, the coins in there and then it dispenses them. Uh, sold for $25. Oh, and it's meant to clip on to like a belt or waistband or something like that. And I picked this up at an auction um, about a year ago, I guess. Sold a couple of heads. Uh, these are doll heads with uh, the rubber heads with green yarn hair. They both had green yarn hair for whatever reason. These sold for $12. Um, and I picked them up together at a thrift store hmm, kind of a while ago, I guess. I've had them I've had them for some time, I feel like. And finally, the last item I sold this week was this lot of milk glass vases. It sold for $28. There were six vases in this lot. Um, some of them were the same. I think a couple of them were the same. And the others were all a little bit different, uh, different sizes, different kind of shapes to them. Um, this is an example of something that on its own um, probably wouldn't be worth it to sell, but if you can pick up a lot and, um, you know, for not much money, like say an auction, like where I pick this up in a box lot, um, you can make some money on it and, you know, it's not any really extra work than listing a single item to really list a lot, other than having to like, you know, figure out the shipping and of course, um, you know, pack them up neatly for shipping so they don't break. But uh, yeah, that's everything that I sold this week, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I put out these videos every week showing the different vintage items that I've sold in my Etsy shop, Planet Alyssa. And then uh, when I have time, try to get some other videos out for you on selling online, selling here, or Amazon, or what have you. But uh, yeah, um, I do put these videos out every week. And I'll try to get another video out for you soon. Like I said, I'm going to be busy this weekend and... Um, well, I'm busy right now. I gotta go make a tart now. Um, so I'll catch you guys again soon. I hope you all have a great weekend and uh, happy selling everyone.